In this video, we're going to talk about the WordPress dashboard. So to get your dashboard, first please log into your WordPress site. Once you're logged in, you should be able to see your WordPress admin page or more commonly known as the dashboard. As you can see, it is very easy to use. It has a bunch of shortcuts and links grouped together very organized now what you have right here in this meta box is the quick link section so you'll see shortcuts for viewing your website managing your menus turning your comments on and off writing your first blog post and many more you can close this section by clicking on the dismiss link right here now, just in case you want to see the quick link section or meta box again, what you need to do is go to this part right here that says screen options, click it, put a check mark on the one that says welcome, and there you have it. The quick link section is restored. To close screen options, click on the screen options tab or link or button once again. Moving on, we go to the at a glance meta box. It shows you the number of posts, comments, and page that you have on your website or blog site. And of course, it also shows you the current version of WordPress that you're using plus the theme that you're currently utilizing on your WordPress site. Next, we have the activity meta box. It shows you the most recently published articles or pages or posts and also the most recent comments. You can also access the group of comments on this section. So what we have here, we have all comments pending or the ones that you haven't approved yet, approved comments, spam or junk comments, and of course trash or the ones that you've already deleted. Now, we go to the Quick Draft or the Quick Press Meta Box or section. The Quick Draft Meta Box allows you to write a post quickly or on a whim. So, you can instantly make a post here just by writing the title of your post and what you want to say. Bear in mind though that the Quick Post section doesn't have full formatting capabilities. We'll go to that later when we talk about the post section of your WordPress site. Next, we have the meta box for WordPress news. So you'll see the latest about WordPress, everything that you need to know, the latest news, and many more. Now, please take note that installing plugins will add more functionality to your WordPress dashboard. So in the future, you might have more meta boxes than the ones currently shown on the screen right now. You can toggle the meta boxes that you see on your dashboard again by going to the screen options right here. So when you install more plugins, you'll get more options here. You'll get more stuff that you can put check marks on, enable them so that they will be shown on your dashboard. And there's one more thing. On the upper left hand corner where you can see the WordPress icon, you can go there to access the support forums for WordPress and get more information about WordPress. As you can see, when you mouse over this link right here, the one with the WordPress icon, you'll see about WordPress, WordPress.org, documentation just in case you need more information support forums this is where most people go just in case they need more plugins themes and more information about those and of course feedback just in case you need to leave a feedback to the developers